Oh my gosh. I don't know if you saw that, but I certainly did. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. You know, I'm getting a lot of back and forth, back and forth energy. So in other words, what I mean by that is it's like two steps forward, one step back. I do see travel in May. I see by car and by plane. And well, in the U.S., it is Memorial weekend so that kind of makes sense for me but i feel like in order to move forward some of you need to release something from the past an event from the past or or somebody from the past or put someone in the present in the past if that makes sense um because i feel like there's a lot of changes a lot of conflicts going on um, in movement. There could even be a delay in travel is what I'm hearing. But I feel like you're trying to build or build something, possibly even restructure something. Might even be building a home and there's a delay. But let's see what the cards have to say. Um, one other thing though is I feel like some of you may feel like you're lacking resources, but there may be more resources around you than what you're realizing. So make sure that you are utilizing the resources that you have. Okay. Because there's something about that. Let me see if there's anything else I was picking up. It's a delicate balance. <laughs> I think that's part of a phrase in a song. It's a delicate balance. I don't know if that's like from the 90s or the 80s or who that, if that was David Bowie. Uh, it's a delicate balance. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Okay, let's see. Virgo, 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 Virgo. I think I'm just going to cut because nothing seems to be hopping. Okay, let's just cut here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. I don't know if you can hear that. I hear a little bird. That's like a songbird. I'm hearing that heart song, dog and butterflies up in the air, we have to fly dog and butterflies. I don't think those words are right, but I think that song and also heart, have some heart, have, give love. There's a message of love. There's also messages coming in. It could even be from the other side. It's messages of love is what I'm hearing. Okay, let me go ahead and, okay, I'm being led to do a different spread for you. Wow. Wow. That's pretty powerful, this 10. Feel like the what I'm getting is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, especially with this card. But remember how I was talking about needing to let go something from your past? In order to move on I mean how I, this doesn't speak better to that the 10 is the end of a cycle the 10 reduces down to a one and this is almost I feel like you know when you hug somebody goodbye it's almost like uh, you know you you you, you, you it's like you're carrying a lot of burdens. You're carrying a heavy load. You might be doing something, you know, that's like back-breaking work and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, but I, I feel like you will. It's just going to take some time. Uh, but this is like, hello, goodbye. It's almost like, you know, seeing somebody for the last time or I, I, that's the feeling that I get from this card sometimes and I'm getting it now where it's like you don't want to let something go, but you have to in order to move forward. It could be a person. It could be in love is um, what I'm getting. Oh, my gosh. Talking about building, 
This is um, the foundation. I'm getting the, I'm getting restructuring. The four speaks to new beginnings. It speaks to potential, to inspiration, to structure, to stability, to the home, to the family. And so somebody may be moving. You may be moving literally or figuratively speaking, trying to move on. There's difficulties in moving on. There could be restrictions. It could be that in order for you to move on, it's kind of almost out of your hands. Um, you know, there's only so much that you can do. You might be like the songbird. You might be waiting to hear some communication or a message from somebody. Like you're waiting to get the green light, the go ahead on a project. Could be permits and things are restricted. Yeah. We have the seven of swords. I feel like this is, um, Pay attention to what is going on around you. Um, there's a need for clearing. Clearing of thoughts, of any negative thoughts, is one thing that I'm getting. You just get rid of anything that's toxic around you, people. Um, emotions, remember thoughts are things, thoughts are energy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so you do have a decision to make and this is, this can represent you since it is an earth sign. The other earth signs, of course, are Capricorn and Taurus, but I'm saying this, I, I'm saying wow, because remember I said it's a delicate balance, and I feel like what I'm hearing is somebody with these two cards, look at the feet. I'm noticing, remember how I was like, in order to move forward, there you need to let go. I get like, and I was talking about the green light. The thumbs up. It's like red light, green light. Red light, green light. It's back and forth, back and forth. Nicholas has just joined us. <laughs> just so you can see him right here. But I feel like there's a situation where it's back and forth, back and forth. It's up and down. Two steps forward, one step back. But I'm also getting somebody is tiptoeing around a situation. That, to me, is not good. Um, well, I, I shouldn't say good. It's just not positive or productive. I don't like to use really, like, I'm trying to stay away from, you know, words that are, like, judgmental as much as possible. Um, yep. There's a foundation. Something was built on a foundation that had some leaks in it. This could be an actual physical building. Somebody is trying to launch something, um, build something from the ground up. Could be a business and it could even be a relationship. And, you know, there are, you know, things that you have to pay attention to. I'm also getting something about, I feel like somebody is filing chapter seven or something like that might even be something is getting, uh, this is not a surprise. This is your, you're making the decision to do this. Um, it could even be chapter 11 for businesses and uh, it's reworking, restructuring. You might hear about work that there's so much upheaval and, you know, a roller coaster ride because they're, they are restructuring. They're, you know, redoing something. But I'm also getting that some of you are making a decision when it comes to a marriage or uh, something that feels like a marriage. Like maybe you've been in a relationship a long time and you're deciding, you know, whether or not to stay or go, to separate. Because this is often my separation card. But there, you know, 
there are some kind of major changes that are going on, some, some upheaval, the truth gets revealed, where maybe there were secrets or something being hidden. I feel like it, it, it's going to come to light. Or, you know, and, and I'm also hearing something about the crown, the crown chakra, crown opening, like somebody may be doing a lot of spiritual work. And so make sure that you're grounding yourself, that you don't get too much in, in your head. You know, it's because when we do spiritual work, we work mainly with the four chakras, you know, the, the upper four, and you want to get grounded. So that may be another message. So you don't feel so kind of off balance. Well, I am so sorry. My battery died, so I had to plug it in. Um, okay. I uh, hear that this, this uh, there could be an electrical outage. And maybe that's why my battery died, like the lights went out. Also, make sure that you are paying attention to finances. Because I feel like finances could be up and down. Like, don't forget to pay the light bill or the electric bill. Um, because I feel like somebody could be avoiding, like money may be an issue in May. Um, I think that you will get through it because of this card and it's in the upright position. But, it, you know, it's like, what is that? Paying Peer, uh, Patty uh, to pay... P paying Peter to pay Paul, or I, I don't know. Uh, now I'm getting some uh, some group. Mary, Peter, and Paul. I think it was a rock group in the 70s or something. I um, <laughs> Okay, these messages are all over the place. I apologize. Um, but, you know, there's like a shortage or something like that. It could even be riding the storm out some of you may be on a boat is what i'm hearing and um there could be like an electrical outage um on a cruise ship or something so just be prepared as much as possible but uh something was possibly built on something that was not firmly grounded and I think that's why I picked up on delicate balance. I think you get back in balance, but it's going to be, you know, there's going to be some obstacles is what I'm hearing. So don't avoid things. It's better to face things than to run from them because I feel like somebody's running from some responsibilities or something that they need to be doing, paying bills, making sure that, you know, not spending too much money, um, that the resources and money are going to, you know, the right things. Um, that's what, that's kind of the message that I'm getting. Uh, I'm also getting that I feel like somebody may be having surgery on, um, and th this is not a surprise, but I feel like it could be either um, the back, like I'm getting, I'm getting lower back pain. And um, I also feel that it could even be like cataract surgery or something just so they can see better and, um, so those are just some messages, last minute messages that came through. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye.